my scrappy friends. I have a really fun layout for you today. So this is for the Secret Not Secret Kit Club Telephone YouTube Hop. Um, I think this is round five, if I'm not mistaken. So in this hop, the premise is, is that the first person in the group will make a layout of their own. So either they scrap lift someone else or use a sketch or whatever, or it can just be whatever is in their head. And then from that, they give it to the next person and then they scrap lift that. And then the next person uses that and scrap lifts that. And so by the end, we see how far um, off from the original that it is or how close or what elements someone has kept or which elements someone has discarded. So it's very fun because you get to see people interpret a layout in a whole different way. And I've really enjoyed doing this. I know a lot of the other ladies, we just keep doing it. It's been a while since we've done them. I want to say it was either at the very beginning of the year that we did one. So uh, hopefully you guys really enjoy this. So I am scrap lifting <clears throat> Sandy and she is skate steak goddess. That's her handle on Instagram. Um, but you can find her on YouTube, not YouTube because YouTube, that's her, her title too. Um, oh my gosh. I sound like a babbling buffoon, but that's okay. Uh, so, yeah, so you can follow her on Facebook, you know, her, Sandy, if you're not friends with her. But anyway, so that first original photo that you've seen, you've seen it at the very beginning. So that's what I'm using. So she had a strip of paper in the, like, not quite in the middle. And that's where she put her photos on. She did have two photos. Hers are like vertical and um so but I'm actually switching it up and I'm using a horizontal and then more of a square photo so it obviously it's going to look a little different so I really liked how she had that line right that piece of paper but I wasn't sure I wanted to do mixed media that's a big shock I hear everybody going <gasps> gasping how can Hannah not want to do mixed media um, I just haven't been scrapbooking that much. So sometimes, sometimes that's not helpful for me to go back to doing it right away. Or sometimes it is. So I decided not to. I decided to have fun with my sewing machine, which I also have not used very often either. So I took um, that white paper and I thought at first about just putting something in the middle and it would have looked awesome even if I had used that on the background and then like even sewed that uh, paper in the middle that I use well it's not quite in the middle it's a little bit off to the side so if I would use that strip of paper I could have just sewed that on and it also would have looked awesome but I really wanted the texture of sewing of having those sewed layers so each of those are sewn on so I didn't use any glue at that point, I had not used glue. So that is one tip that I will give you guys. I'm sure many of you know this, but if you're gonna sew on your layouts, you really wanna use the least amount of glue because it is gonna gum up your sewing machine. And I have done that and I have broken a couple of thing, a couple of needles, um, not just for the glue, but yeah. So I've had problems with chipboard pieces too, trying to sew those. I know some people can get it really awesome. It just might be that I don't have a really expensive machine that I use. So, but anyway, I don't really need an expensive machine, especially I'm just going to scrapbook with it. And if I'm going to break, you know, the needles, then I'm going to do it. So because I had sewn that, I definitely want to make sure that I put my photos on pop dots because... They need dimension and I knew because one, I knew one of the elements that I also wanted to use were those flowers that she fussy cut or that she had I don't know if they were fussy cut or she just had all the flowers in ephemera but I really wanted to use that element I know that at the beginning of the year I had did a layout where I did um 
I fussy cut the flowers and it took forever. And even this one, you're going to, I fast forward it. So you don't have to see me fussy cutting stuff. I just turned my camera off and I just fussy cut and watched, you know, Netflix. Um, but yeah, so I really liked that, that the way that that looks. So I definitely wanted to do this. It's a layout of me and Megan. When I went to her house for my birthday, we went out to a really fancy dinner. And so it was really fun to get dressed up and it was fun to go out somewhere nice and out to eat and have a nice birthday. So that is what this is about. And so because it is us being girly, flowers definitely could be used. <laughs> I sometimes have a hard time with flowers because sometimes flowers aren't really necessary <laughs> on the layout. So yeah, which is funny because I will use a lot of other random stuff, but flowers just, yeah. So now I'm actually gluing that down. I remembered, oh yeah, I didn't. And you seen me cut some strips of paper, but then I also went through some new stuff that I bought. Um, and I got some more, like, so in the fall time I had bought some of the One Canoe Two Willow papers and I think I only got two. And I really enjoyed those. So I had bought some more. So these are the fussy cut flowers. So some of them are from the one paper and some of them are from a different paper. So they're going to work really well because they're going to go with the colors. And I really like the white with that, the, the blue, and then the pink is like corally pink color. They're going to pop. Um, so yeah. So now I'm just cutting some of these. Now this is my thought. I was not really actually sure how much layering I want because Sandy did not really add papers behind. She did put her her photos on like a piece of pattern paper and use that for a mat or a frame. But I wasn't sure if I, like, did I really want to add a whole lot of layers? But then I was like, guys, I got it. Like in my head, I'm thinking, Hannah, you got to use flowers or you got to use layers and you got to use flowers. It's like, cause uh, you know, layering is like your thing. So it just wouldn't be a you layout without it. Right. <laughs> and that is one thing I like about this is that you definitely can you do your own style so easily with this. So here's this gonna, at first I was thinking I might just put that smaller photo on pop dots so it would really stand up. But then I was like, no, it needs, both of them need to be up just, so at this point, I don't have them actually glued down because I know I'm adding like the layers and all that stuff. And I wasn't sure where I was going to put stuff behind there. And so I didn't want to add too much. You are actually not really going to see a ton of the, the layers, which is fine. And this is the thing that is great about scrapbooking is if you want just a little peek of stuff to show, you can totally do that. <laughs> uh, it's one of the things Shamel has, I've heard her say, um, and she's like, you know, who cares if you cover it up, even if you spend all that time doing it, right? So it, it's all like what you, if, what you prefer. If you prefer not to waste paper, then go right ahead and do that because like <laughs> you really don't see it. Just a little teeny tiny bit. I did spend a lot of time trying to get it perfect and I wa also wanted something else up there. So I'm going to put that tag that I cut out. That was from Maggie Holmes, the heritage collection. And so now I'm just going to work on putting all these flowers in. I am going to put parts of them on, uh, with some pop dots and stuff, because that's one thing that I like when you're layering this kind of thing is to have bits and pieces of it lifted so you can kind of see underneath it. I feel like that really just makes it super awesome. But <clears throat> I mean, you could definitely just glue it right on top of each other and you could also get that even if you curled like the edges and stuff of them. So they kind of flip up and they have that appearance of, of it being dimensional, even though it's all kind of glued on top. But I really do like having some of it glued right to the paper and some of it on pop dots and stuff like that. So I'm going to add some from 
like I said, both of the different papers. So there is two different kinds of papers and, and I'm just going to play around with how I want them to go. Just kind of getting them all on top of each other and fun and pretty. And this is the fun part is you just kind of go crazy. You know, if you don't like to go super crazy, then you don't have to, right? <laughs> but that's what I like about this kind of thing. It's almost therapeutic. You just like keep shoving stuff in and I mean, eventually you got to stop, right? But you get to determine. I got glue on my mat. So just kind of working, putting, try not to put too many uh, pop dots, but put a few in there. <clears throat> I cut that off. And I'm going to add that there because I thought I needed a little bit more stuff. And I am going to lift up some parts that had pop dots on them. This is where someone who doesn't just glue things down is probably smarter. But, you know, it's part of my process is gluing it down and then having to, like, try to rip it up without breaking something. I guess that's part of the adventure of it, right? <laughs> but I actually like, uh, I do all this flower stuff and I don't end up, I thought I was going to add a ton more extra like embellishments and I really don't. I mean, I leave this cluster and I definitely added way more than Sandy did, but that's okay because it'll be interesting to see where people go from here with it. If they keep all the flowers or if someone changes it to something else. Um, I had these sitting in a dish. And I really like the black in there. That pop of black. It kind of helps you see the other black and white papers that I used in the layers that you can barely see, right? So, and those were also from One Canoe too, but they were from the collection before that. So... Just now at this point, I am just looking for like some little things. Like what else do I want to put down? I'm also going to work on my title and I'm going to use that label sticker. At first I thought I might actually use that for a date, but then I decide, no, this is a great place for a title. And a lot of this stuff for me just kind of comes like super organic and natural. So it's like, I don't, it's not like I'm like, oh, you know, because I put it down thinking, oh, I'll probably use it for this. And then I'm like, oh, wait, this will look really good. And then I just go with it. So I find that my layouts, I like my layouts more when it works like that. Sometimes it doesn't happen like that and you just really got to force it. But that's okay. So I'm actually going to glue these down because I just stuck them in. And I had a hard time with that one up at the top because I was like, ah, where, where did I have that? I could have like gone back and looked. I used to do that. I used to take a picture of it at certain points so I could see how I had things, but they never, even when I did that, I never could get them back in the same place. I think that's why I just glue it down usually because it's really hard to get it back in the same place. So it's going to say beautiful birthday dinner not like super complicated, but I am going to switch up these alphas. So those ones I think were from Pink Fresh Studios, maybe. I think that might be where those were from, those white ones. They're a fun little, you really can't see it that well on the video, but in real life you can see it because it's dimensional. So the one thing I don't like about these alphas, I really love them. They're awesome. Those ones are from Crepe Paper, Crepe Paper Magical Forest or whatever. I love the bronze. Bronze is like my color. Copper bronze is like, I love it. Um, but the eyes are lowercase and all the other letters are uppercase. That dr it actually kind of bugged me. I was like, hmm. I... I just didn't have space to put the dot on there. So, so now I'm just looking for some enamel bots, basically. And that's how I'm going to finish it. 
looking through, you know, my plethora of uh, enamel dots because I have like a gazillion because you can never have too many enamel dots. And then I'm going to add this. I also am going to put that on uh, partially on pop dots because I'm going to have it go down on the top of that photo with my dinner. So that was my dinner. It was duck. It was so good. It was just really fun to go to a fancy restaurant with Megan. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, tomorrow, check out Sarah Scraps. She's going to use this as her inspiration. So I'm ex super excited to see what she does with it. And if you didn't check out Sandy's process video, I'll make sure I have her link. And then later on throughout the cycle, um, the hop, I'll make sure I add everyone else's layout in case you didn't happen to see mine on the day that I posted. But I can't wait to see how everyone else does their layouts. And I'll see you guys later. Have a great, great scrappy week. Bye.